Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, every Easter, my Grammy and I would sit down and we would make Easter baskets out of paper bags. Now, I remember this so clearly. She would gather up all these paper bags, we'd sit up the night before and we'd make one for every single person in the family. And then we'd decorate them up differently and then we would use them the next day for our Easter egg hunts. The thing about uh, paper bag baskets, though, that's great is that it doesn't just have to be Easter. You can use them anytime you want. Now, we've got a whole bif different assortment of bags that you can use. You can use a little lunch bag. That works well. Or you can even use a full-size uh, grocery bag. That works great. But I'm going to be using today a medium-sized bag. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to decorate your bag because once you've got the, the bag started as a basket, it's going to be a little more difficult to decorate. So I'm going to decorate my bag first. And a really quick and easy way to decorate your bag is to use a cork and a stamp pad. So I'm going to use this cork end and all I'm going to do is rub it on the stamp pad and then I'm going to start making some polka dots. Just like that. Now, I can also mix in different colors. It starts to take on a kind of retro feel. Um, one of the things that you can also do is use magic markers or you can use stickers, whatever you like. Now, I want to get on the inside of my bag here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it open. Just like that. And go to town. Now I've got one done for me here. As you can see, that's what it looks like when it's all done. Now these bags are a little bit thinner than say a you know, grocery bag and so we're going to need to double it up so we have a little bit more strength. So I'm going to set this one aside and I'm going to take a second bag. I'm going to measure down about three and a half, four inches and I'm just going to cut the top off. This is going to become our handle. Now I'm going to take my bag, take my second bag, I'm going to open it up inside my bag so that I double it up. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to roll the top bag down just like you would a pair of trousers and you were rolling them up to go, you know, in the water or something. I'm going to make about a one inch cuff. And don't be worried if you get a little teeny bit of ripping, that's okay because you are going to keep doubling it up. Now you'll notice that I've now reached my second bag. So what I'm going to do is this time when I roll, I'm going to make sure that I catch the second bag too. Each level I roll, I want to make sure that I open up my bag again and get it back to bag shape. That's going to make sure that my next roll is easy to do. And there you have it. There's the bottom of your basket. Now, we're going to make a handle. Remember I told you we had this piece that we cut off? This is going to become our handle. Open it up along that seam. Just snip it. Fold it in half. Crease the end. Now I'm going to fold this into thirds on itself. So I'm going to take the edge that's closest to me and I'm going to fold it in about one third of the way in. Just like that. And now I'm going to fold the top part towards me right over top. And there you can see I have the perfect handle. I'm going to put a little hole in here with a hole punch. Now, if you don't have a hole punch or you don't have these really fabulous wire paper brads, you can use a stapler. Either one works just great. 
So I'm going to take my hole punch, punch a little hole there, ka-chunk, punch a little hole there, ka-chunk. Oh, look, got a little extra there. And now I'm going to put a hole on either side of my bag. Now, this is going to be a little thick and a little hard to punch, so this might be a great time to grab an adult because this is going to be a little hard to squeeze. So I'm going to put this over here like that. I mean, if you've got really strong hands, go for it, but you might need an adult on this one. I'm going to give it a good ka-chunk like that and give it another good ka-chunk just like that. Now I'm going to take a paper fastener brad and I'm going to line up my holes, I'm going to feed the sharp end through and once I get it inside there, I'm going to open it up. And I've got one side of my basket. Why I like the paper brads is because it can actually has a little bit of motion, motion and movement. Motion, that's good, good word. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my other paper brad, put it in the hole right here. And again, open it up. And a tisket, a tasket, you've got a paper basket. Now, you can decorate your baskets any way you want. We've got some here to show you. There's one done with ribbon. All I did was I put some more hole punches around it and just tied some ribbon. Here I put some holes and just did a little ribbon weaving. Um, one of the things that you often find is people buy that, that nasty plastic grass. You don't have to use that nasty plastic grass. You could actually make your own grass out of recycled magazine pieces. If you've got yourself a handy dandy shredder, just take some magazine pages, put them through the shredder, makes great grass. You know, you can also do it by hand though. Just take a couple with scissors and just brrrr, right up there. Got yourself a nice handy dandy. Oh, this one, I should show you, is decorated with magazine pictures. This is our vegan basket. All kinds of ways to decorate a basket, huh? So let your creativity go wild, let it go, and have some fun with our paper bag baskets here. I can't wait to see what you're gonna create. Check us out for more eye-catching ideas at sophie-world.com.